Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Saturday evening, approximately 6.15. I have been doing all kinds of stuff today. Started off sleeping in, which felt great. I had a perfect night's sleep, yay for me, and got up and we made breakfast and then sat around. And by the time I got my ass off the couch, it was after noon. So I packed up my shit and I was getting ready to go out and get her package and then I was going to do a roundabout way and go to three ships and I ended up going across the street where my neighbor had passed away. It has been a flurry of activity over there as they have been trying to go through the house and get things packed up and people were coming and taking shit. I'm assuming family and all that. And then I was outside the other day when somebody came to pick up a rather long cabinet. It just looked to me as if they were going to try to drive with it in the back with a bungee cord. So naturally, I couldn't allow that to happen. So I walked out and I said, you aren't actually going to try to use that bungee cord to drive that thing home, are you? And the girl said, well, actually, we just live around the corner. He was just going to hold it. <laughs> no. So I said, you know what? Here's a ratcheting strap. Why don't you go ahead and use this? You know, because holding it is not a good idea, nor is using that bungee strap. Fortunately, they made it home without incident. But that being said, then I was talking to the woman over there who's been sort of spearheading all that. And she said, hey, I'm going to be having like an open sale. So basically an estate sale. She said, come on over, take what you want. Even though it was pissing rain this morning and all day and the temperature did plummet into the 40s, I decided, well, I'll walk over and see what they got and, and I'll chit chat. So I was over there for about an hour and, and her and I talked about a whole ton of stuff. And I walked through the house. Man, I wish I could afford that place. It is gorgeous. Like it is set up so awesomely. It would be fantastic. I would love to have it. But I did claim two leather recliners that she had. And I'm going to pick those up tomorrow when it's not pissing rain. And then Katie's going to go over and we're going to look at, she's going to look at the other stuff. Or if nothing else, she's just going to get see how it was laid out. I like seeing the layouts of the places in here because I've, I think I've seen four now. And, and I think that one was custom for that woman. So it was pretty awesome. So after I did that, then I went to Prosperity Bakery and I got us lunch, probably a couple of dinners, plus dessert for tonight. Then I went to Three Ships and got Bean. I've already recorded all this. I've recorded shit all week. It's all boring. I'm not going to bother to post it. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to fill you in because I know that I said what I was going to do was I was going to do shorts every day and then maybe on the weekend do like one bigger video. Well, I started thinking to myself, I have this Samsung S22 Ultra. Now I have this not to use as a phone. I get dozens of calls to this phone and I don't even know the phone number. Every time I get a call, I go in and I block it. I only use this for entertainment consumption and or filming and taking pictures. And even then, I don't use it that much for consumption of stuff other than looking through like Instagram, because at the time I didn't have unlimited data. Now I do on all my devices. So I can use anything anywhere at any time and not worry about going over it like I did you know, last month. So I thought, all right, I need to start using this damn thing the way I'd intended to use it more, which is filming stuff, taking pictures and what have you. So then I thought to myself, okay, I also picked up this, the Samsung Galaxy S Tab 8 Plus. I don't know if this is the Ultra or not. I honestly have no idea. There's so damn many of them out there. Anyways, I've got this big ass Samsung tablet. And I thought to myself, you know, I got to be able to use the technology better than, than just sitting around and flipping through st stupid things and looking at Google News and all that shit and getting pissed off. So I thought to myself, you know what? Screw it. So if you hadn't noticed on the screen, I have downloaded LumaFusion. LumaFusion is an NLE. It's a video editor. So I can use this S22 Ultra to film like I have before. It will automatically go to this Samsung tablet and I can seamlessly then drop shit into LumaFusion and edit a video together. So I think I might start doing that a little bit more in addition to the shorts, maybe not every day, uh, in addition to my normal doing this, whether it's stuff that I'm doing from when I'm on the road or in here or oot in a boot, all that stuff. The world is my oyster. I can do all kinds of shit. Now, I'm pretty excited because an, an old friend of mine was posting on Facebook that she was having a hard time finding someone to do photos for her. And 
the, you know, basically the amount of money that they were charging. And I kind of sort of half joked and said, Jesus, for that kind of money, you could fly here to Virginia Beach for less than that. And I wouldn't even charge you to take your pictures. And, you know, it, it's a win-win. And she actually went with that. So she booked a flight. She's going to be here in March. And we're going to do a bunch of photo shoots and hang out and catch up because we haven't seen each other in a long time. We're going to have a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to that. At least I know that she's not going to flake out and I'm going to have an actual model to take pictures with. So yes, looking forward to that. That's going to be a fun time. As far as day job goes, they did hire somebody for the Boston territory that I was covering and they'll be starting in the middle of, of March. And they also got somebody for the Florida position where they had let that girl go. So that's fantastic because, you know, it's it's been difficult for me to try to learn this job doing my territory plus covering somebody else's territory. And to be perfectly honest, that territory took up more of my time than I had hoped. And it, it made me neglect mine so I can get back to business of, of furthering my success in my own territory. Okay, so that's that. Looking forward to that. I really don't have a lot to tell you. Again, this week was relatively boring. I don't know if it's any more exciting than any other week, but uh, I didn't have the cops tackling a half-naked guy. Uh, you know, there, there's nothing major going on. It was 82 degrees on Thursday, and today it's in like 42 and raining, so that sucks. Tomorrow it'll be back up to almost 60. Sun will be out. Looking forward to that. Going forward the next couple of weeks, I'm not going out on the road. I'm going to be doing everything for at least the next two weeks, maybe three, uh, via Teams calls. So I'm going to be here, which is good and bad. I'm going to try to get as much done as I possibly can to get myself not only caught up, but way ahead of the game so that I have more time to play. But we'll see. Cart before the horse. And that's all I've got for you today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. And remember, kids, forward and up.